Now recently I have made a few videos on the topic of the Mafia and this is a growth channel so it only makes sense to discuss a hot topic of the similarities between CEO and Mafia bosses. Without a great team there won't be a great company. For this to work there needs to be structure and order in a hierarchy fashion. There are so many similarities between the CEO of a large company and a mafia boss that if a mafia boss were to go legal and happen to be lucky enough to make it as a CEO then the role would be perfectly suited without the violence obviously. The similarities intriguing in their leadership style and the dynamics of their organization is very similar and I'm going to go through six clear ways of how both are very similar in the hierarchy and the power structure. Firstly, the Mafia bosses. In the Mafia, the bosses hold the highest position of power and authority. Beneath the boss are the underboss, conciliary, capos, captains and soldiers, creating a strict hierarchy. CEOs, similarly in corporations, CEOs occupy the highest position of authority. Below them are executives managers and employees forming a hierarchy structure decision making authority mafia bosses mafia bosses have the final say in all of the decisions related to the organization including strategic planning resource allocation and resolving disputes ceos have ultimate decision making authority within the companies making critical decisions about the company's direction investments and major policies Control and influence. Mafia bosses exert control and influence over their territories through fear, intimidation and coercion. Loyalty to the boss is paramount and disobedience or betrayal results in severe consequences. CEOs. CEOs also while significant control and influence within the organization shaping company culture, setting goals and inspiring employees. Loyalty to the CEO and alignment company objectives are valued traits among employees. Managing relationships and alliances. Mafia bosses. Mafia bosses maintain relationships and alliance with other criminal organizations, politicians and law enforcement to protect their interests and expand their influence. CEOs. Similarly, CEOs cultivate relationships and alliances with business partners, investors, government officials and industry peers to advance company goals, secure resources and navigate regulatory challenges, risk taking and strategy. Mafia bosses must assess risks and develop strategic plans to maintain their power, evade law enforcement and outmaneuver their rivals. Again, with the CEOs, CEOs also engage in risk assessment and strategic planning to drive business growth, innovate and stay ahead of the competition in the marketplace. Brand, image and reputation. Mafia bosses often cultivate a strong brand image based on perceived strength, loyalty and respect within the criminal underworld. Similarly, CEOs are mindful of their personal brand and the reputation of their companies, seeking to hold positive perceptions among stakeholders, customers and the public. While the activities and objectives of mafia bosses and CEOs differ significantly, the parallels in their leadership roles, organizational structures, decision making processes and strategic processes are noteworthy. Both positions require effective management skills, the ability to inspire loyalty and a keen understanding of power dynamics within the respective domains. Well, I hope you've learned something today. And if you have, smash that like button. And also, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're going to put in a whole lot more content going forward. And if there's anything else you'd like me to make a video on, again, leave a comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.